Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Welcome back. It's time for another exciting managerial accounting video. And uh, now we're going to talk about break even point. Um, I am using the data that we used in the contribution margin income um, video. So if you haven't seen that video yet, you may want to go back and take a look at that one. Um, on the contribution margin income statement because that's got some really good information that would be helpful for this. So what is break-even point? Break-even point is the point at which break-even point is the point at which profit is zero. Okay, so that's what break even point means. The company is breaking even, so we want our profit to be zero. So, how do we determine, you know, at what point will our profit be zero? Well, there's a couple different approaches you could take. We could use that income statement that we used last time, the contribution margin income statement sales minus variable cost equals contribution margin minus fixed cost equals operating income. Okay, so break-even point is the point at which our operating income is zero. Okay, so if we work backwards up this statement, okay, operating income needs to be zero. So we have to cover our fixed costs. Our fixed costs are 16.5 and 13.5. So if we add those together, that is 30,000. Okay, so in order to break even, have zero profit, I have to cover my fixed cost. So my contribution margin also has to be 30,000. Okay, so if we're breaking even, it's really important to remember that at that point, fixed cost equals contribution margin. Okay, so if you want to remember that, that might be a really helpful tool to get you through this. So now I say, okay, so I need my contribution margin to be to be thirty thousand. So I don't know what my sales are, don't know what my variable cost is. <clears throat> so from here, we can't really go up any further, but let's start looking at this on a per unit basis. I know that my price is ten dollars and I know that my variable cost if I add up all of my variable costs so it would be 160, one dollar, 240 and 125 my variable cost is six dollars and twenty-five cents. You might remember this if you watched the last video. So that gives me a contribution margin of three dollars and seventy-five cents. Now this is my contribution margin per unit. This is my contribution margin in total. What's the relationship between these two? Well in order to get this number we take three dollars and seventy five cents and multiply it by the number of units to get thirty thousand. So if I want to know how many units I would need to break even, units equals thirty thousand divided by three dollars and seventy five cents. If I do the math on that, that gives me 8,000 units. Okay, so if we did it the other way, it'd be 8,000 times 375 would give us 30,000. Okay, this is my break even point in units. So I'm going to say units break even point. Okay, <clears throat> now you might say, okay, well, that's great, that gives me units. Now, that doesn't really help me get my sales. Well, if we wanted to, we could take 8,000 times $10, which would be 80,000. And then my variable cost 
my variable cost would be six dollars and twenty-five cents times eight thousand units which would be fifty thousand okay so fifty thousand if we take eighty minus fifty that gives us thirty thousand thirty thousand contribution minus thirty thousand fixed costs give me operating income of zero okay so all we have to do is take if you want to look at this from a formula perspective, fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit equals break even point in units. Okay, so there's that. So now what if we wanted break even point in dollars instead? Well, remember from the last video, we figured out our contribution margin ratio. My contribution margin ratio is equal to contribution margin divided by sales or <coughs> contribution margin per unit divided by price. Okay, so in the last one, in the last video, we did $3.75 divided by $10, and that gave us 37.5%. Okay, <clears throat> so what I could do, if I wanted to convert straight to dollars, I know that my contribution margin is 37.5% of my sales. So I could take 30,000 divided by 0.375, okay, which is 37.5%, and that equals 80,000. So notice that this is the same as what we got here, okay? So that's how you do break-even point in either units or in dollars.